I mean, no, no, I have, I was techno technologically doing something. First of all, let me turn off, let me turn off this, uh, this, uh, fan air condition, what the heck this is, because, well, you know, I want to be, yeah, yeah. I want to be radio right, and then plus I had my Bluetooth headphones on, then I had to change, you know, it's sort of complicated, you know, you know, I'm techno technologically challenged, you know, how you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing cool, just, yeah. uh, going through, like, some Instagram stuff, and, you know, catching up on some old old stuff. Oh, that's right. You're you're a social media. How many social medias are you on? Only Instagram and yeah. uh, Twitter. Uh, that's it. Because I follow my son. That's all. Oh, okay. So okay. All right. I I can't do Twitter, man. It, people have too many wars on Twitter. <laughs> well, I I only have it because my son is on there. I don't really like it too much. Yeah. I like Instagram because I like uh, photos. Ah, yeah. I just I just started to do Instagram, but I'm I'm I like everything. I try to when I'm trying to do an Instagram, I just do the 15 second thing. I'm just just doing that to get myself, you know, acclimated. I don't even know when I'm gonna go longer form or anything like that. And sometimes I put some pictures up, but but you're right. I, I like to do the basics on that. I'm not really a you know one of those. And plus, I get a lot of information from stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, that's that's what it is too. I I look. I, I initially put I think about 300 photos up, mm -hmm. but I, that's it. I stopped. Yeah. You know, I don't post every day. I just needed to have a presence. Mm. So I just put photos up there. And then once I became, you know, like I have 300 photos, so I don't need to put any more. And they were just photos uh, representing different things. Like I have some military photos. I have some, some Donald Trump photos, like comics. <laughs> I have some far side comics, some photos of me oh, with awesome. some celebrities. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw some of your celebrity stuff, man. Hey. That's good. You know some peoples. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you saw, yeah, I have uh, different people there. Uh, now, wait yeah. a second. I got to get some water. You can't see me because, uh, you know what I'm doing now? Let me try to explain what I'm doing as I reach for this water here. I'm drinking some, uh, this essential, uh, something like that. But it's that, that whole, you know, 9.5 pH, you know, alkaline water. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I I try to just do one one of these in the morning. Then every all the rest of the day I'm doing filtered water, you know, from the from the, the Brita filter thing. But but I like to, uh, yeah, I used to be a lab technician, so I so I know the the regular pH for blood is or for water is about uh, you know seven seven somewhere in the about around about seven six five seven like that. So the nine five, ah, it's good. What? Why not? You know. Um, yeah, as long as you are in the ballpark. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you know. I'm I'm putting it in I'm putting it you know I'm I'm, I'm putting it in this time I'm putting it in my my travel mug my travel mug is like a steel mug that has a a cap on it now you know why I got my travel mug don't you uh well so you can take it with you that's right but I learned that you know when I was in India I learned you know they always carry like a a, a steel like plate with them and a steel cup you know with little cups because you know. That that's what you use. If that's that's essential. But I'm track. I'm carrying a travel mug right now, cause I'm practicing. Right. I'm not traveling right now. I'm stuck in the forest. I mean, I'm 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 how to say sequestered. I'm uh, what what do you call this? Quarantine or <laughs> whatever it is in in Missouri. You know. What are you doing? You in New York? What, what, where are you in New York right now? Cause you got a lot of homes, man. I don't I don't know about you. You got a lot of places. Well, I'm in Massapequa, Long Island. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. How is it out there in Massapequa in the days of, of the COVID? Oh, well, quiet. Like, not, nobody comes down my neighborhood, like the block, hmm. right? Except I had these kids. They were coming through on these motorcycles, Ooh. on these scooters. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that was a whole nother issue where, you know, I had to deal with them. Why? Disturbing but your the, peace? Wait, when you say coming, didn't yeah, they just come through? Yeah, disturbing peace, man. Well, it was six of them out there, and I went out, and I and I they, they all decided to come down my like stop in front of my house because I'm sort of near the corner, and their house is down. Oh, you know, they, I guess they have to see it. Oh, so you knew, yeah. uh, so you know them. But I mean, were they, were they no. running back and forth, or what are you saying? What were, were they using it as a speedway, just your block, or or they order all the time? Couldn't they just go through? What's going on? Okay, so imagine, let's say, uh, one side of the block, like say the south side of the street, is just one long block. Mm. The north side of the street is two blocks. 
Mm-hmm. So it's like a T in the road, right? Yeah, 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 I got you. I know what you mean. Okay, so now, but but then my block ends. Like one side of the block opens up to a bit of a, oh, shoot, like the pathway from Merrick Road, and then you can come up to uh, the old Sunrise Highway, uh, but it doesn't even go through. So it's not that busy of a block, especially my block. It's very, mm-hmm. nobody would come through my block because it has, it's not a dead end, but it stops, and then you got to make a left or a right. So it's not the block you really want to come down if you're going anywhere. Mm. So it basically stays kind of quiet, like no cars come down my block. Mm. It's rare to see a car come down my block. So you're, you're used uh, to solitude. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're kind of. You know, I can send you some photos and stuff. But uh, but anyway, it was two two quads, two mini bikes, and two smaller bikes. Oh, that's right. right. You. Yeah. You in Long Island, so you're up there with the hoity-toity, where people got some some resources. Okay, I got, I got you. Oh, so what happened next? Well, then uh, they were coming down my block riding, right, and they decided to stop it. I mean, it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all day, every day, all day and night. Oh, this was this this was a, this was an extended period of time. You say? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was going oh, on man. for a while. Oh, so you, so you was that, you was that, that, that grumpy old man that came out your house. Then what happened? Oh, do tell me. I want to hear this story. <laughs> okay, well, to them, uh, and I, and I start to, to the guy and says, I can't hear my television. Hmm. And then he says, uh, you know, the other guy came over. He says, what? Because he couldn't hear me because it was so loud. Hmm. And he says, I can't hear my television. And he's like, you telling me I can't ride? you know, up the block with my kids. And I says, no, I'm telling you, I can't hear my television. You know, and and, uh, he was saying things like, uh, and I says, look, I'm all for the kids, but, you know, I can't hear my television, and I don't want to go to the police. I I ended up saying that. And then he said, well, I was here for a long time. And I says, how long are you here? He said, "Uh, 13 years. I says, well, I've been here 30 years. And then the other guy says, on the quad, he says, well, you know, we can, we, you know, these are legal. We can ride these. And I looked, and he had no plate. And I, and I just pointed at my garage and says, look, I've been riding since 1978. I've been yeah. in Chicago, Atlanta, yeah. like, he, he, he all don't, over the place. They didn't know you was a cyclist. Okay, all right, a real, uh, okay, I got you. They know. If they would have checked your Instagram, then they would have known, all right? <laughs> so, but go ahead. What, so what happened next? Since they couldn't win the argument, what happened next? Well, then there was there was they sent the kids home, you know, down the block, you know, where they have this one house and they look like they all Section Eight people renting, and that the guy does mechanical stuff over there. So I think he fixes all the bikes, right? Mm. And they sent him home, but then the, the people came in their car, and they wanted to know what was going on. Like you know, they saw that you know I had that we were all in the middle of the street. Mm. So then I was just saying, look, I don't want to, I don't want to, to, you know, I can't hear my television. Mm. Yeah, you got to stick with, you no. got to stick with the point because as soon as you start meandering and they, they meander and be pretty soon, nobody knows what the yeah. point was. Yeah. No, I don't meander because I don't want to say like, look, you're disturbing the peace and everything like this. Mm. But, you know, I told them, look, if I'm sitting in my, you know, I, like I said, I may, I applied I'm sitting in my house. I can't hear my television. That's a problem. I didn't say that's a problem, but I look, I cannot hear my television. And the guy before he couldn't even hear me because it was so loud. So he had to be like, "What? What?" And and then you know he was like, "Oh, okay, I got you. I got you." So then it went from the quads disappeared. They stopped coming up and down the block. But then it just became. Like the younger kids, like say 15, 16, mm. and, and 8 and 9, they started coming down. So one day, I mean, and this is, uh, I don't want this to get back to them, mm. but one day I was leaving my house and it was five of them coming up and down the block, right? Afterwards, it, we had a big rain and, and when it, the rain stopped, I think, mm. then five of them came out and was coming up and down the block. And so I pulled out of my house in the car and I and I just wrote down what I saw. I wrote down the, the what color the motorcycles were and what everybody was wearing. And 
and I just happened to be in the street, and I saw a police car, and I went and I told the cop, I said, hey, these guys are coming down every day, uh, back and forth, all day, all night. So he says, well, what time do they do this? And I said, well, every day, all day, all, uh, all day and night, every day. And then he says, well, I don't think we're going to be taking, you know, confiscating people's bikes. And I says, well, no, I don't want that to happen. And, and he's the one, he says, well, you know, we can give him a warning. And I'm like, yeah, just give him a warning. Mm. And I told him, I says, I don't want to get the police involved. And he says, well, nobody does. <laughs> and I so, wonder why he said that. <laughs> experience. <laughs> so he says, well, I'm going to give it to the number 14 car, because that's the car that handles this area. Mm. So the 14 car is... The, the we have to go into line. details because I don't, I don't want to identify nothing like that. But, you know, but, you know. So, so you, you resolved the matter, in other words, peacefully. There was no bloodshed. People didn't go to jail. Prison pipeline. Yeah, well, yeah, well, resolved the matter because he says, I'm going down that way. He says, do you know where they live? And I said, yes. And, uh... Uh, Anthony, I don't want this stuff coming back at me. So, 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 so let's just let's stop right there. Let's start right there. We, we, we won't go any further because because I am recording from my YouTube channel. As you, well, it doesn't matter. My YouTube channel does not get a lot of hits on purpose, by the way. You know what I mean? I don't have a little, bunch of subscribers uh, over the years because I think I started this channel in 2011 and I just started being really active in 2014. And it really, it really is for archival purposes. Uh, and, and I started, in fact, you'd be interested in this. The reason why I started more diligently, I was talking to this guy. But the reason why I started is because I, you know, you know, I'm an archivist. You know, or, or archivist. Some people like to say I like to say archivist. You know, that's the way I like I like to roll that way. But you know, I would tell people all the time: record your elders. You know, record your family. Record your family. You know, people don't listen to you. You know, and so I just started to record my sort of you know meanderings and stuff like that. And then other things started to happen, like like with the Black Panther series. You know, Black Panther. Um, uh, a movie came out, I did the whole thing on that. Then I'm down in Africa, so I started, you know, talking about that. And then, of course, this ADOS thing came up, so I started, and it was, I, you, if you check my ADOS, because I have these uh, web playlists, so if you check my ADOS playlist, it's quite interesting how it first came about, and it just sort of chronicles the whole, my, my revelation for it, whatever have you. So to me, this is like historical stuff, but I don't ask for no likes, I don't ask for no, no, no subscribe, I don't ask for nothing. At the end, you might get a little... You get a little thing that says about um, uh, Bitcoin, but that's for that's for some research I'm doing with 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 my uh, with my uh, with my research group I'm doing in Dubaza. But you know I don't ask for any of that, and and plus it's plus it's Creative Commons and it's not monetized. So you know the algorithm does not push people towards me. You got to sort of know know to go here. You know that's what I'm saying. So anyway, so that's what it's just for archival purposes. And I have I'll talk to you another time about what what I think this could could become or whatever have you, but. Now nah, I don't get a lot of traffic. Certainly nobody's going to go out to wherever you are. I won't, yeah, Manassas, <laughs> do some it, it detective work. I don't know. So, so anyway, let's go. So, so what else is happening, man? Forget that stuff. So you, you drove in your car. So, so you, so you've been, you've been running around then. You've been running around the city. So you know what's going on. No? No, I'm, I've mostly been in Long Island. I haven't really been to the city. Normally, I would go to the city and I would play my drum in summer to the tourists mm. in Central Park. Oh, yeah. But because of COVID, nobody's out. Yeah. So, haven't really been to the city too much. You know, it's just, haven't really been there that's to the city. No, that's interesting that you used to say that because, yeah, you know, the musicians, are all, all kinds of service people are suffering during, during this, you know? Uh, you know, you're retired, so I don't think you're, you're going to take a hit. You just do stuff because you can, you know. <laughs> you're, you're what they call a boomer, I guess, a baby boomer at least, which means that, you know, you you, you got the reason. You came up with a time that you got you got fortunate, and you parlayed your, your stuff into stuff that that, that, um, that served you now in your old, older age. You know, some people are mad at that, by the way, you know, but like that. Oh, they allowed. <laughs> That's why I love you, Stevie D. Man, you, you, you know how to talk. But look, actually, I did, I did call you for a reason. You know, now I, I was, yeah. you know, I wanted the people I subscribe to on on YouTube because I just pay attention to YouTube and, like I said, uh, Instagram. I don't do none of that other stuff. Fake, no Facebook, no no Twitter, yeah, nothing like either. that. And I don't have TV, you know, and all that stuff. So I, I yeah. And plus, I read. Oh, I should tell you, I'll, I'll get to you another time. But I read this great book called uh, called Breath. I, I say breathe, but it's called Breath. By this guy, uh, I might have sent you an email because I've been sending everybody about this book. Uh, this guy, uh, 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 what's his name anyway? 
uh, James something. Um, but anyway, I, I, I really, this is an amazing book. I'm reading it slow, you know, I'm reading it, you know, and it's just really good. And then plus I just, uh, and here I just make a lot of, you know, I, I, I do a lot of interviews because, you know, that's what I do. I have to keep my muscle going, you know, because I'm an interviewer. I'm a, a, an archivist and an interviewer. Um, but I do it as a radio thing. So right now I don't want, like, for instance, I won't have you on camera. Like people do Zoom things. I don't want that, you know. So it's just me. Not that I'm, not that I'm the best looking person, but it's just me. It's like radio. So I just I can hear people's voices because what happens is 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 I'm talking directly to you. I'm not really talking to, to some great audience. This is the magic of radio. I'm just talking to you. And plus, since nobody can see you, they can't get an impression of you or get I would say, a, a discriminatory, you know, uh, 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 attitude or, or posture towards you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna be so short and short. Anyway, so so that's what it is. So so, but I wanted to ask you about something. Like I said, I, I listen to Max Kaiser, and then this guy came on. It's this uh, Brit, uh, this Nigerian Brit, you know, the Nigerian guy that that, that, that you know uh, came from Nigeria and and, and grew up in, in Britain or England, whatever you want to have you. And uh, he was he's a he's a, a computer person. He had much success in all this stuff, and he was talking about you know the future and how it's going to look. And I asked you earlier, and we can repeat it, but uh, what, what is it going to look like? Right now we have these devices, before we had, to, we had something else, and now this, he says, is going to be like basically, um, what, um, not artificial, yeah, artificial, whatever, what, what is that thing, what, what, what's the new Virtual thing? reality. Virtual reality, yeah. So, but you was, tell, tell me about what's it going to look like? No, we're going to get, we're going to ditch our phones pretty soon. What, what, what are we going to have instead of phones? part of the phones or the communication text part of the phone? Well, you, you tell me. I don't know. I mean, you know, just... Yeah, yeah, but what, what, I think what? phones are going to be around, but I think you, what I think is that even in the future you're going to have these goggles that you're able to wear mm -hmm. and you'll be able to travel around the world virtually when they have the 5G eventually connected and people design the software for it and mm -hmm. they'll have the speed. You'll be able to transport yourself into everybody could just you could say all your friends hey let's meet at the eiffel tower for drinks mm -hmm. but you have your own drink because it's virtual mm -hmm. but you'll be able to see everybody wherever mm -hmm. you go you go you know and you know along with that you'll be able to travel to hawaii everybody could go to hawaii and see the waterfalls and everything like that mm -hmm. but one one thing that i'd be more excited about it is the simulators you'll be able to sit in the cockpit of an f-15 and mm -hmm. take off from a carrier Mm. And, and fly, or let's say uh, a, a 737. You'll be mm. able to take off and fly, to, uh, just like they have flight simulator now, mm. but you have the goggles on, so you'll be able to look left and right, and it'll kind of feel like you're right there. Yeah, in the I, future. I know what you mean, because I was at, uh, I think a couple of years ago, I was at the J&R Music World, and they had a virtual, uh, you know, one of those goggles things that you put on, and you know, with, the, with the dinosaur. And you know, I'm just this messing around, and I turn, have to turn my head, and that dinosaur is right in my front of my face. I jumped, you know what I mean? So I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds familiar. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, just to give you an example, Flight Simulator was Bill Gates' baby when he first started. He put his own resources into Flight Simulator because that was his project, right? Mm. Then Flight Simulator turned out to be so great in what they can do. They had dolphins flying in the water. And, and uh, giraffes running through the uh, Africa, mm. and, and, you know, but that's not have nothing to do really with flight simulator. They just really peaked out as much as they could do. Mm. So they were coming out. They're coming out. It should be out pretty soon. It's not out now. I don't think so yet. But they say that they, they says, "Oh man, I was interviewing the new flight simulator because once they did ten, they said we're done. We finished." Mm. But of course they didn't finish. So the guy says, "All right, I'm going to go and review the new flight simulator," and he said that. When he took the plane off from Washington, because that's where they do it in Washington State, he took the plane off from Washington, and he could see the restaurant on the simulator that he ate lunch in the day before. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, that's how much graphics that they're able to put in today's computers. Boy, talk about this. Really... Go ahead, go ahead. Well, everything used to be crude. Like even I, I think I've seen this dinosaur thing, that, dinosaur thing that you're talking about. But you know, early graphics were very, very crude. But now, 
you know, the technology and the applications are in competition with each other. Mm. As one grows, the other one grows. And it is just getting outrageous to what they can do for the future of computer technology. It's 